My name is William Robinson and I'm the pastor emeritus of the Hoover United Methodist Church. We're here at Philander Smith College tonight in Little Rock, Arkansas. I started at this church 28 years ago. I had been in community development work prior to uh, at, for six years, but I've been at the rest of Hoover for 28 years. I was there for 28 years. Always been a, a, a member of a church, in fact, who dealt with people at the grassroots level and who was interested in uh, ministries that was external, not just internal ministries. I started off as, a, as a, uh, a lay speaker in the church and after being in lay speaking and seeing the needs of seeing people who were suffering, people who had pretty much been neglected, and also seeing clergymen, in fact, who had not really given their best, but kind of a media, Mediocracy has kind of taken place and, and what have you. So I felt like that I need I could do better than that, and the people deserve better than that. So that's pretty much what hooked me into the people is how can I help somebody else move to the next level? Basically, I was raised up here in, in Arkansas, and there was a just a tremendous amount of needs um, breaking through Jim Crow. Uh, segregated schools and all those things and being living in communities where in fact people did good work don't say they did I'm not saying they didn't do good work but how do we develop so that we can move this to the next slot and move up and become an integral part of all that need to be done not to have someone to thank for us but how do we think and make changes take place in our community that fit our culture, our heritage, and, and, and so forth. Well, I was um, trained and nurtured by a professor who was here and who pastored the Wesley Church across the street. Uh, after he received his uh, uh, PhD from uh, Boston University, uh, he went to work for the Board of Global Ministry of the United Methodist Church. His PhD PhD dissertation was upon community development and uh, so he used me as a guinea pig to practice some of the work that uh, he started uh, many years ago. Uh, when he received his, his uh, uh, dissertation, his first dissertation was torn up. He, he was a professor here and his professor tore his dissertation up, put it in a, in a bag and give it back to him and said it was too radical, it would never work. And um, so he came back and got some students from here to rewrite, to re put it back together so he could rewrite it. And he rewrote his dissertation and the next time it sailed through. He went to work for the United Methodist Church in New York where he would have an opportunity, in fact, to put it in action. And he became the secretary of the board of, one of the secretaries of the Board of Global Ministry, the urban ministry part of it. And uh, so what he did then was started what we call a black community developer program, which is now just community developers. It dealt with blacks and other indigenous, uh, Asians, uh, the Native Americans, and what have you. And our job and our role was to go out and energize and, and develop the communities in which we, our church was basically located in. Well, the challenge at the beginning, we have a system, a, a, a tremendous system that you have to work within. This program was set up so that uh, we did not have to just follow the system. Uh, we were part of the system, but we did not have to follow the systemic part of the whole protocol of the church. It allowed us to go outside. For instance, the community developer was basically made up of 60% of the people that we were working with were not members of the congregation. And that was something that was never thought of, that someone could come into the church and suggest or tell the church the direction it should be going. And as a, re as a result of that, we were able to work with the community rather than to work for the community. I'm excited that, uh, that uh, at least I was able to pass it on to somebody else. One of the things that I really take pride in is that we have 
attracted persons to be a part of this community development uh, process, in fact, who are just not my daughters, but people, in fact, who have an interest in giving back and helping to uh, elevate people from the pits to a level where they can stand uh, for themselves and to speak uh, competent with persons in terms about issues and making decisions that would better the community rather than just to have to take someone else's word for it. So I'm, I'm very proud of the, uh, the accomplishment. There's just so much more to be done. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a great work. But to have persons like CJ and, and Malik and, and Nikki and all the others who have sacrificed where they could have be been because we don't have the resources to pay that corporate America basically has to pay but they're somewhat caught up in their work and do a fine job for us. Every now and then, uh, someone will come back and, you know, I may not be able to even identify their features, many of them I do, but when they come back and tell me in ways that they feel they've been helped and how they move forward, not to my knowledge that it ever took place, you know, uh, you know, that keeps me going, that keeps me moving to see people uh, who, who uh, break through the struggles and is able to, to, to become achievers. Uh, and just to say how much they appreciate it. It wasn't much, but whatever the little bit it was, if they were able to, to move and to motivate them to go to the next level, you know, that's when my joy really comes. It, you know, a lot of times you say, well, what's the use? I'm going to give up. You know, you win some, you lose some. But whenever I'm down, usually uh, somebody will come along that I didn't even think about or had forgotten all about and come back and say thank you. And um, that really helps me to move to the next day. So you can't quit. I love people, uh, I, I would say, and you know, the song tonight was very appropriate about helping people. Uh, you know, not always, silver and gold have I none, so I don't have to worry about giving them any money, uh, but it's how can I help them to um, accomplish their dreams, uh, to give them that word of encouragement, that, that push, that extra boost that they need in order to get over the hurdle. I enjoy uh, trying to help people gain confidence in themselves so that uh, they can be, uh, be achievers and never give up, never give up.